To many people, snakes are creepy critters, but some people choose to keep them as pets. But when does a pet become a problem? Good evening, I'm Wendy Suarez. Mike is off tonight. Fox 25's Phil Cross goes undercover to expose, expose a black market of illegal reptiles, and you might be surprised where they're being sold and how they could end up in your neighborhood. He has tonight's Fox investigation, Phil. Wendy, underground snake sales aren't exactly advertised, but when we went looking, it didn't take us long to find people willing to sell us anything we ask about, no questions asked. Our journey begins at a reptile show at the Oklahoma State Fairgrounds, a room full of snakes and reptile enthusiasts. All the snakes here are legal to own. But what about those of the venomous variety? Expensive as hell, too. Expensive due to the permits required to own something that could kill you. These shows don't allow hots or venomous snakes, and vendors say putting on a hot show in Oklahoma is practically impossible. But as we found out, hots apparently are not expensive to buy. You just have to meet the right guy. I have sidewinders, atrox, mojaves, prairies. I've got black tails coming in. Those are all rattlesnakes, like these at the Oklahoma City Zoo. Now, these are the full-grown variety, but at the reptile show, our dealer Jim says baby western diamondback rattlesnakes are just $15. Yeah, we can meet up somewhere. Never asking us if we had the right permits or even the experience needed to keep these native and dangerous snakes. You got some nice viper. It's a similar story at the Reptile Expo in Broken Arrow, where we are offered introductions to find people selling hots. A wino one dealer said a man in Oklahoma City was selling cobras, reportedly devenomed, but that procedure is still rare and sometimes not permanent. Most dealers told us we needed permits first, but many pointed us to upcoming shows in Texas where almost anything goes. I know a couple of local boys in Texas that may be yeah, better, definitely better than nothing. It turns out in Oklahoma, the state only regulates native species of venomous snakes and requires permits to buy, sell, or own them which means the sidewinder rattlesnake or even a cobra, both venomous, are not native to Oklahoma, so according to the State Department of Wildlife, neither would require a permit to buy. Literally anyone can get one. A snake is a very difficult animal for someone to raise privately. World-renowned zookeeper and animal adventurer Jack Hanna goes around the country educating people on exotic animals. We talked with him during his recent stop lecturing on conservation efforts in Oklahoma. He said these illegal reptile sales threaten everyone involved. But there are those people that, wear, that have snakes. It's real cool to have a snake. It's real cool to put a snake around your neck and go run around town with it. It takes, this is a living animal. It takes a lot of work. To, matter of fact, it takes a lot of work to raise a snake more than some other exotic animals I'm talking about. Now, it is important to note that we never did actually purchase any of the venomous snakes we were offered, and we never made a direct offer to buy any native wildlife. The Department of Wildlife says doing either of those things would have broken the law. But our investigation didn't just find black market vipers. Up front at 9.30 tonight, we come face to face with the jaws of a soon-to-be man-eater right here in an Oklahoma parking lot. Reporting in the studio, Phil Cross, Fox 25 News. Up front at 9.30 tonight, rattlesnakes, cobras, and vipers, they're all potentially deadly and all offered for sale right here in Oklahoma. Fox 25's Phil Cross went undercover to see which illegal animals are being bought and sold on this reptile black market. Phil continues this exclusive Fox investigation. Oklahoma law regulates native species of snakes and reptiles and requires permits to own, breed, or sell many of these reptiles. But that doesn't stop the sale of reptiles that could do much more than just make your skin crawl. I have sidewinders, atrox, mojaves, prairies. I've got black tails coming in. Time after time, and you got some nice viper. we found people either offering to sell or willing to introduce us to the sellers of venomous snakes and other reptiles. But taking us by surprise was this exchange. I got a boy wanting to get rid of uh, a three footer. A few phone calls later, and we found ourselves here, waiting in a parking lot situated between a Toys R Us and Baby Depot to meet this guy. That's an American alligator. Just a juvenile right now, full-grown ones like these at the Oklahoma City Zoo can reach between 10 and 15 feet long. He's never bit anybody. He hasn't? Ever. He's never bit anybody. Buddy, how That's you doing? not to say he won't, but 
Like, if you start petting on him, he'll kind of calm down. It's like a time bomb. <laughs> when he gets bigger, it's still a wild animal. Jack Hanna's career has been working with wild animals. During a stop to support conservation efforts in Oklahoma, we talked with him about the results of our investigation. This is America, so I'm not saying nobody can have anything. I'm just saying with the proper facilities. Hanna says many exotic animal owners do not have those facilities. It's something we found true when we asked the guy with the gator. He had an indoor pen set up for him for a while, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's having it inside, he threw it outside. He said that he did good outside with heated water all winter long. It turns out he's selling the gator for a friend. On this night, there was no sale. Instead of getting cash, we pulled out our camera. He knows that he's not supposed to have an alligator in Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Our middleman talked with us, but asked we not use his name. Did your friend have an, a license for that alligator? Uh, sure, I'm sure he doesn't. He said he didn't like being the middleman, but admitted he does have his own venomous snake. He got it from Jim. Remember him? Yeah, we can meet up somewhere. Jim is the one who offered to sell us rattlesnakes, some native, some not. He told us a sidewinder like this one at the zoo was just 25 bucks. But we found out even though it's venomous, it's not considered native. And therefore, the state says you don't need a permit to purchase. And there's no need to prove you have the experience needed to be a safe snake handler. I don't like how they bounce back and forth from house to house. You see them all over Craigslist. Our middleman says underground reptile sales are a problem. I think that people who are raising them should be a little more responsible about who they sell them to. Yeah. Now, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife is responsible for investigating illegal reptile sales. We did invite them to be a part of our story and our investigation, but they declined. One game warden told us they are constantly working these sort of cases, but they take time. Reporting in the studio, Phil Cross, Fox 25 News.